Good morning and welcome to Son Tra. We just stopped at our first destination and we came to Linh Ung Pagoda. This is one of the most famous pagodas in all of Vietnam with the tallest Buddha statue standing at 67 meters. Come with me and let's take a look. So as you walk through the gates of Linh Ung Pagoda, you're going to see these beautiful bonsai trees lining the walkway. And just beyond that, you're going to come across these marble statues. Once you make the short walk past the bonsai trees and the beautiful sculptures, you're going to come to the first temple. This is the oldest temple here at Linh Ung Pagoda. And just like all the other temples that I mentioned in my previous video, the locals come here to pray for health, for business, for love, and for their relationships. So we're gonna go inside and take a look at the temple and see what it looks like inside. Just be aware that before you go inside the temple, there are signs indicating that you do need to take off your shoes before entering the temple. So please do that to respect the local culture. I know I'll be okay, cause I found my way. So Lin Ong also has different areas for you to sit down, for you to take selfies with your loved one, and just to sit back and relax and chill. So if you uh, get tired, you can sit here, take a selfie, look cute, chill out. Okay, so after a short walk, we finally made it to the famous Lin Ong Pagoda. As I mentioned before, she stands 67 meters tall and currently she overlooks the ocean right in front of me as well as Da Nang City. Every year during the rainy season, when we have massive storms, the locals believe that Lin Ong protects both the sea, the fishermen, and the city from any damage or destruction. In bad times, I know I'll be okay, cause I find my way. Oh, hey there. I just wanted to also tell you that if you feel so inclined to have a photograph taken of you in front of the famous Lin Ung Pagoda, they do have a few stalls around with photographers who will take a photo of you and your loved one or you and your family as well. If you get tired, there are concession stands which sell coffee, sodas, drinks, so you don't have to worry about any of that. You're also going to see a lot of dogs at Lin Ung Pagoda, so if you like dogs then uh, you'll be in a happy place. Right? Right? So there are two different areas where you can park your motorbike. Uh, one is the place that I'm currently sitting at, and another is where I park my motorbike at the front entrance. This is protected by a security guard, so your motorbike will be safe. And once you leave, it is on a donation basis. So whatever amount of money you want to leave, be it 2,000 dong or 10,000 dong, it is completely up to you. And if you decide to take a taxi, they will drop you off right here, just meters from the entrance of Lin Ung Pagoda, so this is another option as well. All right, also located at Lin Ung Pagoda is a beautiful towered structure which stands behind me as well as this beautiful lying Buddha. Okay guys, welcome to Ban Ke Overlook. Uh, we just arrived here. This is the peak of Son Tra or Monkey Mountain. But unfortunately, after you leave Lin Ung Pagoda, instead of going to the right towards uh, the Intercontinental, you're going to have to go back towards the left of the mountain, wrap all the way around and continue following the road, and you'll come back up this side. So let's take a look at the Ban Ke Overlook. Oh, it's my turn? Uh, oh, hey guys, welcome to Ban Ka. This is the top of Son Tra Mountain. Uh, ban means table and Ka means chest. So this here is a chess table and I uh, am currently in the middle of a game. Uh, you're interrupting me. Uh, so we'll get back to this in just a second. Uh, but this is what you're gonna see when you get to the top of Ban Ka at Son Tra. So welcome and please take a look around. All right, so from this vantage point, typically you can have a very beautiful view of the city and the sea, but today is a very foggy day. But for me, it's good because it chills the weather down and it's quite cool, whereas normally it's very hot. If you're looking for a bird's eye view of Da Nang City and the sea, this is it. 
Come to Bon Cove, go to the very top, and there will be an overlook point, which I'm currently sitting at, and the views are majestic. Just take a look. No, you hang up. No, you hang... Oh. Uh, so, we're just walking up, and uh, I came across this monkey. I know that I haven't shown you many monkeys in this video, but I am going to do an entire video just on monkeys at Monkey Mountain. So stay tuned and I will give that to you soon. All right guys, we're closing out the video. I just also wanted to let you know that you do have the opportunity or possibility to go paragliding here at Son Cha. Uh, just go ahead and Google uh, paragliding at Son Cha and you will come across the Facebook page and find more information for that. I believe it's about $75 for about an eight minute ride. So a little steep, uh, but it's well worth it. It's a very thrilling experience. Guys, once again, any future content that you'd like to see, please let me know. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you soon.